Hello everyone, Stefan here from projectlifemastery.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to find a profitable niche market or product that you can sell on Amazon. Now, this is one of the most important processes of being able to sell on Amazon. It all starts with that niche, that product that you select and that you wanna get into. So I really encourage you to watch this video in full and follow along with it. You know, Make sure that you're taking action with this as well because that will help you come up with potential ideas of products that you can sell on Amazon. And really, if you pick the wrong market, the wrong product or something that's maybe too competitive or it's not profitable, then everything else that you do after that point won't really matter. You know, If you pick the wrong market and you try to sell a product that nobody wants, then of course you're not gonna make money on Amazon and it's gonna cost you a lot of money and time and you're gonna fail. Or if you pick a product or a niche that's too competitive and your product can't be found or you have no chance of competing with the other products that have been there for years that are already so established, then that's gonna be a challenge as well. So making sure that you find the right niche, the right product, the right market for you to get into is one of the most important parts of this business. And I think this video will help you immensely on how to get started with them and share my procedure for it. Now, if you guys want more great free Amazon training videos, this video is part of a series that I'm releasing. And in order to get access to all the other videos that I'm gonna be releasing and more information on this, then I want you to click the link that's gonna appear right here. I'll have a link that you can you know, press on, an annotation. Or if you're on a mobile device, then click the link in the description and just head on over to that website, enter your email address, and you'll get access to more of the free videos that I'm gonna be releasing. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure that you're paying attention and playing full out with what I'm sharing with you, and let's begin. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to find a profitable niche or market that you can sell a product on on amazon.com and be able to make money from. Now, before I go into the step-by-step -step process of this, uh, the first thing I wanna mention is that when it comes to selling on Amazon, what I've found that people have had the most success with, and especially if you're a beginner at this, is basically finding a niche, a product, a market that's already profitable and that's already selling well, and then basically uh, sticking to that product, that market, and just selling in that as well. I found that a lot of people, when it comes to selling on Amazon, they think, you know, I've got this great idea that uh, you know, for a product, or I want to invent something new that's no one, you know, no one's ever heard of before, and they have this great idea, and sure enough, they go through the process to sell it and and make it available on Amazon, but nobody buys it. And the reason for that is because they didn't do the research beforehand to make sure that there was already a market for it. So you don't want to try to invent something new or try to create a market. Instead. I mean, you could do that, but it is risky. But instead, what I'd recommend is to find what's already selling and just do something similar to what someone else is already selling already, already on Amazon and try to just do a better mousetrap. Try to create a better quality product or try to beat them in their marketing or their ranking on Amazon. And that's part of the private label process that I uh, really enjoy because you're able to find a product that is already selling out there and find a great manufacturer or supplier that's already making that. And then you can put your own label or packaging on that and uh, your own brand and all that sort of stuff and be able to sell it on Amazon. So I found that to be the best, the easiest and fastest way is someone that uh, is brand new to this can get started selling. So I wanted to put that out there first because I think it's very, very important. Now with that being said, I'm gonna walk you through the process uh, of what I do and what I go through to find profitable niches and markets and products to sell on Amazon. And uh, as you can see right now, I'm on amazon.com's website and I'm on the Amazon bestsellers page. Uh, here's the link to this page right here. I'm not exactly sure how to find this page on Amazon's website, it's kind of complicated, but uh, the way that I find this page is just by going to google.com, typing in Amazon bestsellers and uh, or bestseller list. And I found it right here. So they have the bestseller book list. Uh, this is just the, the bestsellers list right here. And it took me to this page, okay? Now on this page, this is a very powerful and useful page for doing research on because uh, this page is gonna tell us what's already selling on Amazon, what people are already buying, what are the best sellers. And as you can see, if you come down here, there's all these different departments on Amazon's website. 
You know, there's everything from appliances to automotive, baby, beauty, uh, you know, cell phone accessories, you know, camera equipment, clothing, electronics, health and personal care, home and kitchen, home improvement, so many, you know, kitchen and dining, there's so many different uh, categories that are selling in and we're able to look at all the different categories and assess and find out what's already selling and we can use that to dig a little bit deeper into those niches and markets to see whether or not it's worthwhile and if there's an opportunity there uh, to create a, a product or private label a product in and start selling in so uh, i'm going to show you the sports and outdoors section uh, i love sports and uh, fitness equipment and you can go a little bit deeper here as well in this department. I'm going to narrow it a little bit more and go to sports and fitness. And sure enough, you can narrow it even more if you'd like. But you're already able to see, you know, all the top products, the top 100 list of products that are selling in this category. Uh, let's jump into yoga because I do recommend being a little bit more narrow with that and defining, okay, a specific market like that. And really, you know, there's so many, there's thousands and thousands of categories like this on Amazon. So you can spend hours just searching around, looking at all the different markets, all the different categories, what's selling in that. Uh, I'm just going to show you just for the sake of this video, yoga equipment, the yoga market, which is a really, really big market on Amazon.com. Now, uh, you can go even further if you'd like, you know, if you want to go more niche into towels or blocks or, you know, foam wedges. Uh, but I'm just going to go to general yoga, yoga equipment just to see what's selling in this market. Now, when I look at this, this is a wealth of information and data that's being revealed to you on what's selling on Amazon and what people are buying. Now, when looking at these products, what you essentially want to do is look through this list and see if there's certain products that stand out to you that you might have an interest in selling. Now, when it comes to looking for products that you wanna sell on Amazon, if you're a beginner, there's a certain criteria that I recommend. I actually have another video blog on my YouTube channel that shares that criteria that I have. Uh, but usually when it comes to selling a product, uh, when you're brand new, I do recommend selling something uh, that is at least $10 and you can sell up to maybe 20, 30, or up to even $40. However, keep in mind the more expensive the product is, like let's say you wanna sell a product that you know it costs $40, oftentimes it might cost you quite a bit to make that product, you know, or to have your supplier make that for you. Um, so if you wanna sell a product, let's say that's gonna cost and sell on Amazon for $40, well it might cost you like $20 per unit, let's say, to have that manufactured for you. And if you want to order, you know, 500 or 1,000 units of that, then that could be a lot of money. So uh, when it comes to selling a product, if you can sell a product, if you're brand new and if you're on a budget, a product in the, you know, let's say the $10 price range, and it maybe only costs you a uh, dollar or two dollars to make that product, then all of a sudden, you know, it's very easy to get started in this business because you don't have to have a lot of money. A great example is my girlfriend. She didn't have a lot of money to get started selling on Amazon. She's got two products now, but her first product um, cost her, I think, 50 cents to make each one. And she sells it for $10 on Amazon and does very well with it. So uh, to order, you know, a thousand units of a product, you know, that uh, let's say only costs 50 cents, that's only gonna cost her around $500 to actually have that manufactured. So it doesn't require a lot of money, but that's one thing you're gonna wanna keep in mind when selling on Amazon are the costs to get started with that product. So that's why I recommend if you're brand new, if you're on a budget, start on a product that's at least $10 and can go up to maybe 30 or $40. Um, I also recommend at least $10 and not less than that because oftentimes a product that uh, costs less than $10 on Amazon uh, is sometimes listed as an add-on item, meaning that um, when someone wants to buy that product, they can't buy it just by itself. They have to buy it with another product as well and spend at least a minimum of usually uh, $20 or so. I'm not exactly sure what it is, what they've changed it to, but you have to spend a minimum. I think it's even $10 a minimum. Um, so I try to stay away from products less than $10 that are too cheap. And oftentimes just the, you know, the profit that you're going to make from that isn't really high enough when you factor in the shipping, the Amazon fees, et cetera. So usually $10 is the minimum that I'll go to uh, with a product. Okay. With that being said, um, you can start to look through these different products. Um, another thing I'll mention as well is having a product that's not too big or too heavy. Uh, the bigger the product is, the heavier that it is, 
then it's gonna cost you more to ship that product and I just would stay away from that if you're brand new. If you're brand new, try to have something that's small, uh, fairly light, uh, is great as well and something that's simple to make something that's pretty easy to make some you know not a, a very complicated product i try to stay away from electronics starting out because there's too many things that can go wrong that could lead to uh, refunds or negative reviews on amazon or customer complaints so try to make it simple especially if you're brand new to this okay now let's jump into this so this product here uh what is this this is i think a yoga yoga mat i'm just going to pull this one up uh, sleep mask. Okay, that could be an option for a product. I think this is a yoga mat here as well. Um, you know, yoga clothing. Okay, yoga block, yoga towel. You know, here's another yoga mat. So as you can see, you know, these are all potential products that you could you could sell. You know, here's another yoga block uh, that's selling as well. Uh, yoga straps yoga pants, etc. And you can just start going through this list. And again, you know, if there's certain products that stand out to you, great, you want to jot those down. I recommend when you go through this process to use an Excel spreadsheet so that you can track all this data. And uh, really at the beginning, you're not trying to be perfect and find the perfect product. You're just trying to get ideas. You're trying to get ideas and just kind of putting all the data together so that you can assess all your different options and decide on what would be the best fit for you. Uh, you know, yoga socks, for example, a uh, yoga mat wash. Here's another sleeping mask. Cool. Another yoga towel, etc. So you can keep going through this list if you'd like, but you know I'm gonna, for the sake of this video, save a little bit of time uh, because this process could take potentially hours. Uh, just kind of going through all the different products here. But let's take a look. Um, now, when it comes to uh, deciding on a product, you'd want to look at all the different ideas that you just saw and came up with and identify what is the main keyword that people are searching for to find this product. So this one here is very clear. I mean, they have a lot of text here in their title, but it's very clear that it's yoga mat. That's the main keyword that someone would search for on amazon.com in order to find this product. So what I'd recommend that you do is just, you know, jot that down, yoga mat, and you know, put the price of this product, how many reviews that it has, and if you scroll down further, a really important thing that will tell us how well a product is selling is called the Amazon bestsellers rank. So this product's ranked number 40 in the category of sports and outdoors. Now this product is selling very, very well. In fact, it's probably selling uh, hundreds of units every day and making a lot of money. Um, so that's really useful data and information that we can gather here is that you know this one's got you know number 40 ranking in this category, so it's it seems like a hot market so far. So if you've determined that yoga mat, you know, is a is a market that you want to look more into, then essentially what you do is you come here to Amazon and you would go to the all departments category in the search box, type in that keyword yoga mat, and the first thing you'll notice is Amazon is suggesting alternative keywords here for us. And this is very useful because they're telling us exactly what people are searching for in order. So yoga mat bag, yoga mat strap, yoga mat towel, yoga mat cleaner, sandals. These are all other potential markets that you could look even deeper into if you wanted to, you know, sell a product that's related to a yoga mat. You know, so you could look deeper into that if you'd like. But if you just type in yoga mat. You can see uh, here all the different products that are selling that are yoga mats. Now, what you'd wanna do to dissect this market and see whether it's worthwhile to get into is you'd wanna look at all the different products here and make sure that they're selling. And the way that you know that these products are selling is again, looking at the Amazon uh, bestsellers ranking. So let's pull up this one here and see how well this one's selling. This one's at $11.99 price, 222 reviews. We come down here. Now this one's ranked 297 in the sports and outdoors uh, uh, category. Now this is a very, very high ranking. Anything that is better than 10,000 is really, really, really good. 
Um, even you know around fifty thousand in certain markets still means that you're selling a couple couple products a day. When you're getting to the the top thousand, you're just you're killing it. You're you know you've got like a a six figure, seven figure, uh, potentially even an eight figure business on Amazon. It's amazing how much money that some of these products are making, uh, which will just totally blow your mind. Uh, so this product is selling really well, cool. And what you want to do again is jot down the information here of how many reviews they have, their price, and just kind of get some ideas of what's already available in the market, the price it's going for, how many reviews they have. Because when you look at this and you think, okay, this is just a black PVC yoga mat. Well, anybody can do exactly what this person's done. You know, anybody can find a supplier or manufacturer that's creating this, pop it up on Amazon, you know, promote it, market it, get Amazon reviews for it, and uh, you know, get in a similar position as this product and do just as well as them. You know, it's just amazing how just by looking at this, how achievable this is for anybody that's getting started. I mean, anybody can 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 create this and do exactly what all these other people have done. And that's why I love competition because competition is a good thing. It's going to tell us what's selling and you know what works. And then you just have to duplicate that and do a better job, invent the better mousetrap and uh, you know just see what's already selling and just do a better job than everyone else and market it better than them and rank it better than them on Amazon as well. Um, so again, I mean, you don't, when it comes to Amazon, you know, people search, you know, you've always got to have your product that shows up as high as possible. And, uh, you know, the higher up your product is for that keyword, the more sales it's going to get. However, a lot of these markets, like you don't even have to be on the first page. You can be on the second, third, fourth, or fifth page and still sell, you know, a couple units a day. You know, the ones on here on the second page, they're not going to be getting as many sales as the one on the first page, but they're still gonna be selling. You know, so if I look at this one here, this yoga mat for $30, 174 reviews. If I come down here, 17,000. So this product here is still selling, uh, I would reckon at least 10, maybe 20 or more sales per day. So it's doing very, very well, and it's here on the second page. You know, it's only got 174 reviews. You know, $30, I'm sure they have a really great profit margin, and they're doing awesome. So. You can already see the yoga mat market is a great market. It's profitable. We've looked at all the other products. They're best of the ranking. They're doing well. Uh, is it competitive? Yes. Uh, and really what it comes down to is getting reviews. But even then, you could still do something that's similar to everyone else and still do well because how many of these yoga mats are identical already and uh, they're all selling? They just have a different logo. Uh, you know, and people will shop around to find a yoga mat based on a certain color they might like or material or feel or the reviews, um, you know, or the price. And so those are all different ways that you can stand out with your yoga mat or your product. Okay. And you know, of course you can market it outside of Amazon on your website, you know, on, on Pinterest, on Instagram. There's so many strategies that you can use to market your Amazon product. So let's say that you decided on yoga mat, okay? And of course, you can, you can dig around deeper. You know, the, we'll go into the sleep mask. We'll go into some of the other ones as well. Uh, but and you've decided on this product and you said, you know what? I want to sell a yoga mat. It's profitable. You know, it's not that com competitive. It is competitive. But, you know, I believe that if I work hard enough, I can get reviews on it. I can promote it. I can market it. I can sell it. I've already thought of some ideas and ways that I could sell and promote this product. Maybe I could use YouTube. I can use social media. Facebook, I could create a, a yoga blog, a yoga YouTube channel, all these different strategies you want to think about when it comes to selling a product. And I do recommend having some level of passion for it, some level of interest in that market or that product, and even thinking about alternative complementary products that you could sell as well. So in the yoga mat, if you wanted to build a brand around yoga, well, that can lead to you selling yoga towels, yoga blocks, and all this other yoga equipment. And when you have a brand like that of other complementary products, then it's amazing because now, you know, once you acquire a customer and they enjoy your company and they enjoy your products, then they're going to be likely to buy all your other products from you and even be a repeat customer. So um, that's what you want to think about as well when it comes to selecting a niche or a product. You want to think beyond you know, this initial product and think about the brand that you're going to be creating and how you can promote it and sell it and additional products that you can get into for your second, third, fourth, and fifth product. 
Okay, so let's say you decided to do the yoga mat. Um, the next step from that, and this is just kind of another way to verify that this might be a worthwhile product for you, get it, you to get into, is to see if you can find suppliers and manufacturers that are already creating this product and selling it. And one of my favorite ways of doing that is going to a website here called alibaba.com. Okay, alibaba.com. And you can, it's basically a website where you can find suppliers and manufacturers from all over the world. What you'd wanna do is search for yoga mat. Okay, and again, you'll see a bunch of different keywords here. Hit search. And basically, you know, look at all the different suppliers that are selling yoga mats. Now, when it comes to uh, searching for this, I do recommend you check Assessed Supplier here and Gold Supplier. Uh, when it comes to actually finding a great supplier and talking to them and looking at your options there, there's a you know that's a whole other video that maybe I'll do at another point. Uh, and by the way, if you guys want more training videos like this, then I'd recommend click the link below in the description of this video uh, or go to uh, projectlifemastery.com slash FBA because that's where I'm gonna be releasing more of these videos that you guys can get, ac get access to that shares a lot more of this process. Um, so I won't go too much into that, but basically by checking these boxes, uh, you're ensuring that you're getting the highest quality suppliers that are legitimate, uh, the ones that are assessed, and because when it comes to choosing a supplier, you don't want to pick someone that, you know, that maybe someone in China that isn't verified and uh, could just be scamming you. You wouldn't want to send them like a wire transfer to order a bunch of yoga mats from them and, you know, they, they, they scam you. So that can happen. And to avoid that, you're just going to make sure they're verified, they're a gold supplier, and then you'll, be, you'll have no problems. Um, now, uh, looking here, you can see all the different yoga mats that all these different suppliers have a bit available. You can look at all the different colors. Uh, you know, you can put your logos on some of them, uh, different designs, you know, different materials and everything. And these are all just products that we already just looked at here on amazon.com. The exact same, pro I mean, I'm sure you could find these exact products here and find who their suppliers are. You know, in fact, I think one of them, this one here looks very similar to, to you know, these ones here. So. You know, you can see where they're getting their products made and who their suppliers are. So let's say, I mean, looking through all these different, there's 23,000 of them, um, different options here. You know, you'd wanna basically look through and see that if you can have a product that's a little bit different or different color or different material or, or just whatever quality that you uh, feel comfortable selling and what the market wants, and you can put your own logo on it. I mean, there's so many things that here that you can uh, do just by looking through all the different variety of products here. And the important piece when it comes to finding a supplier is you know, looking at the price and getting an idea of the profit that you can make in that niche or with, or with that product. So let's say just for example, you, know, you can see here you know, for each unit, uh, each piece is gonna be anywhere from $2 to $10 per yoga mat to, for you to make with your logo on it uh, and it'll tell you all the details of it as well. They have a minimum order of 500 pieces, although you can negotiate this with suppliers. Again, that will be for another video. You know, this one here has a 100 piece minimum order. And of course, different products are gonna cost more money to make. So let's say, and, and obviously also the more product that you order, the cheaper price you can get as well. But let's say you decided to sell this one here. And uh, let's say that it cost you, I don't know, $5 to, to get each one made and Amazon will take a little bit of their fees as well. And let's say, you know, seven, eight dollars uh, is what it costs you for, you know, your mat uh, as long as well as the, you know, maybe shipping the product might cost, let's, let's say $10, okay? $10, if you go here on Amazon, well, and see how much they're selling for, well, some of these are selling for $20, $30, you know, $30 here, $20 here. That means that if you if your cost is ten dollars, you can sell it for twenty dollars, and you're going to make a ten dollar profit. So that's a fifty percent profit margin. Uh, when it comes to profit margins, at least thirty percent is what I aim for, um, and ideally fifty percent. And of course, as your product is more established on Amazon and it has more reviews and you're selling well, then you can actually get your products much cheaper. You can bring down your costs, 
and you can actually sell it for a lot more as well because now your product is already selling and it's already up there. So that gives you an idea right there when selecting a niche and market. Um, another thing that you wanna consider and look for is what you can sell your product for and what your profit margin will be. And that will help you determine whether or not this is a, a great niche or opportunity for you to get into. So that's another thing worth writing down, considering when you're going through this, this whole brainstorming process and just kind of you know, going into a niche and market. And so I just wanted to share that with you because I definitely use Alibaba in the process. Now you can find suppliers in China, all over the world, uh, even the United States. However, the United States will typically cost more money. Uh, when it comes to products like yoga mats, uh, most people go overseas for that in China. Um, uh, when it comes to selling supplements, which I do, um, you'd only want to go in the United States and find suppliers uh, there that are more local in the United States. Just because you know certain countries or there certain regulations they have with food supplements or food food items, um, you know. So otherwise, you can go to China for for most other products. Okay, um, so that's yoga mat now. If you go to the next one here, let's jump to this other opportunity that we're just doing in our research. We had to go through this exact same pro process with this uh, product, with this niche. You know, identify the keyword, sleep mask. Okay, let's do a search, see if it's a big enough market. Okay, great, so here's some additional keywords that they're telling us here. Okay, here's the different products here. Now, some of them are selling for less than $10. So, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't really pay too much attention to those ones. Uh, I'd more so look at the ones that are selling more than $10. See how well that they're selling. Uh, so, you can even scroll down. Let's take this one here. That was a little bit different. Uh, okay, let's take this one. You can see there's already different designs. There's silk. There's these, com these comfy ones, different colors. Here's a pain relief eye pillow mask. Uh, let's see. And let's just go a little bit further down here. Okay. So I won't dig too deep on this one, but let's just see how well they're selling. So this one here, 3,000 in the health and personal care. So this one's doing really, really well. Again, anything better than 10,000 is amazing, and even 50,000 is, is still selling pretty well. When it comes to a product that goes around, uh, every category is different, so it's hard to say exactly how much each product's making. But uh, some categories, you know, uh, at 50,000, it might be, uh, you know, five sales a day, and some categories at 50,000 ranking might be. 10 sales a day. So it really depends on the category. But the, the key thing is just making sure that there's several products that are selling in this market that are profitable. So this one selling is profitable. How about this one here? Okay, 853. So this one's very profitable and selling well. Okay, how about this one here? 5,000. So again, very profitable. And this one only has 137 reviews. So we saw that, you know, there's some of them have a lot of reviews. These ones here, because they have thousands of reviews, those are very hard to compete with. And it can take you years, honestly, or at least a year to be able to compete with these guys because they've been around for a while. However, you don't need to. You don't need to be at this level. I mean, ideally, that's the end goal. However, you can be, you know, just like this product here that has only 137 reviews, 11, you know, selling for 11.95 and it's selling very, very well. So you don't have to be the top product in the market to make a lot of money in this business. You can be down here on the first or second page at third page even and still do very, very well. So that's a very important thing to understand is that you don't have to be number one or number two or number three. And that's why I think people worry a little bit too much about competition. And you can already see how some products have differentiated. This one's got like a case with it. Just get earplugs with it. Um, you know, it's just being creative and finding a way to stand out. Now, if you wanted to look for a sleep mask and you decided that's a good pro product that you'd want to sell, you just go to, again, Alibaba, sleep mask. And you can see now some of these products <laughs> are, you know, 10 cents to, you know, as low as 10 cents to make or, uh, you know, uh, 50 cents to make. To 90 cents, so less than a dollar. You know, this one's 20 cents, and you can see the different colors, designs, and everything for these. 
uh, you know, with the earplugs. I'm, I'm, again, these are like the exact products that we were just looking at here on Amazon. They're right here on Alibaba. And you can get them done very, very cheap. You can get a minimum 100 units of this product for as low as you know 20 cents. So you can get started in this just for let you know a couple hundred bucks, less than a hundred bucks even, uh, you know, in some markets, to be able to get your product made. So again, it doesn't have to co cost much money at all, um, and it's just finding a product here. And you can see if you can get your product made for let's say 50 cents, and then you go to sell it here for ten dollars well that's an amazing profit margin that you can make on one of these products so you know that's that would be another great product that'd be worth considering that i'd write down i would analyze a little bit more put as one of my options of a product that i could sell this one's very light uh so i mean it's the shipping is going to be nothing for it um you know it's very simple um you know, it's just it's, it's just a great simple product that you could sell that's inexpensive for anyone to to get started with this. So that's sleep mask. Um, and let's see if there's one more. Okay, we already looked at the yoga mat. You know, with the carrying strap. Okay, yoga blocks and yoga towels. I think were the other ones that could be worth checking out. So again, exact same process. Yoga block. Okay, logo. You can look to see these products, what's already selling, look at their price, look at their Amazon bestseller ranking. I mean, I can already tell you this one is profitable. I don't have to look at all the numbers and stuff, but it definitely is. I've done the research on it. Very profitable market. You can see all the different ways they stand out with the colors, look, feel. And of course, just go to Alibaba see all the different suppliers that are making this product the cost for it how you can differentiate it maybe different color different logo on it and uh, you know that would be another profitable one that you could you could look at you can consider and with this one here I mean the reviews you know some of these products are, are less competitive in terms of the reviews you know these ones you know one of the top products here number one it's got 62 reviews 293 reviews 108 69 so definitely achievable for anybody that's brand new at this to to get into one of these markets and compete with these products and uh, you know it's an open playing field anybody can do this anybody can get into this and start selling and do very very well it's definitely not overly competitive some markets will be more competitive than others uh, but again, you don't even have to be number one or, or the top product in that market to do to uh, do well uh, same thing with yoga towel. I mean, I'm not even going to go through this one. It is another profitable one that you could look at. But I really wanted to show you just all the different options, all the different opportunities. And when you look at all the categories here, it's it's pretty amazing. Just going back to that bestseller list, um, you know, and looking at the different. I mean, you can dig dig for hours and hours and hours at all the different opportunities there are to sell on Amazon. So there's no shortage of opportunity and that's why Amazon is the hot new thing right now because Amazon is exploding um, you know there's just so much money to be made if you can create and private label a product and sell it on their website so there's no shortage of ideas niches markets you can spend hours uh, finding all the different ones but again I do recommend you find something that you know, you think about long term, you can build a brand around thinking about your second, third, fourth, fifth product in that market and uh, make sure that you pick something that, you know, is fairly inexpensive to get started with, something that's lower risk. Do your research, uh, you know, something that's fairly light and simple, uh, something that you can stand out and differentiate yourself a little bit in that market as well. And just something that, you know, you you can come up with ideas with oh, different ways that you can market and sell it also. Okay, so hopefully this video has been educational for you um, and kind of shows you that process uh, of the opportunity that's available on Amazon and how you can find different products that you can sell. Um, I'd encourage you to leave a, a comment below. Let me know what questions that you guys have. Let me know what you think of this video. Make sure to like it and uh, subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel for more videos like this. And if you want more video specific to selling on Amazon and more information on this, then again, click that link below in the description or go to projectlifemastery.com slash FBA 
projectlifemaster.com slash FBA. That's where I'm gonna be releasing a lot of exclusive information and uh, strategies on how you can sell on Amazon and make a lot of money doing it. So uh, thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.